We are following some breaking news in La Jolla where Sig Alert is in effect after a wild multi-car crash. One driver had to be cut from the wreckage. Others suffered minor injuries. Our Phil Constantine is live overhead in Chopper 8 with the very latest. Phil? Thank you very much. All right, it looks like the uh, vehicles uh, started here going westbound on uh, Nautilus as you come up on Avenida Manana. In any case, uh, not 100% sure, but it looks like this vehicle got sideswiped and knocked on its side. Now, as far as I can tell, this had a woman and a couple of children in it. This vehicle that you now see on the right-hand side was apparently parked out here, got hit and knocked up toward the house. And then this is the vehicle, I think, that started the crash, wound up all the way down here. Now, one person had to be extracted from here. He was taken and uh, transported over to uh, Scripps, La Jolla a hospital with some significant interests, injuries, uh, they are pursuing the possibility that this is a DUI-related incident. The roadway remains uh, closed here, Sigler, for a couple of blocks. You might want to use uh, Muirlands Drive to go north of Muirlands Middle School to avoid this. Get some more details on the ground. We'll go to Gene Kang. Phil, thanks so much. Here on the ground, we're taking a, a very close look. I'm told by a witness here by the scene that the driver of this BMW behind me ran a red light, and this is the result. It flipped over. It hit a lot of wreckage. You see the debris here. It hit a palm tree. It also looks like it hit a power pole. That's why the SIG alert was issued, and you even see the wheel of that BMW on the street here on Nautilus Street right now. While well, a total of four people were hurt, including two children, police are still on the scene doing this investigation. It happened around 9.30 this morning here at Avenida La Reina and Nautilus Street, close to Muirland School and La Jolla High School, which are out of session right now. Well, that SIG alert was issued to the community because the utilities were knocked out after the BMW hit the power pole. A driver was trapped in the BMW and had to be rescued as we zoom on back around. If you see the bottom of this BMW, I'm told by the battalion chief that it was not your typical rescue. That's because they say it was dice for several reasons. The car was resting uh, on the electrical wires. Normally with something like that, it's something where we need to back off and just wait until SDG and arrive, SDG and E arrives uh, to kill the power. In this particular case, um, it was very lucky for the individual inside that, that those wires were enclosed in conduit, so it made it safer for us to operate. I'm told that the driver of the BMW should be okay. He had his foot stuck in the bottom of that vehicle. You see that wreckage and all of the debris still here on the street during this investigation. Well, he was pulled from the BMW and then rushed to Scripps La Jolla with back injuries. The driver of the minivan was taken to Sharp Memorial with minor injuries. Her two children were treated at Radio Children's uh, as well for minor wounds. Nautilus Street will be blocked off indefinitely until the scene is cleared. You saw those aerial shots from Chopper. Eight back out here live uh, with all of this wreckage. It's going to take a while for investigators to clear up this scene. That's because they're taking photos. Also talking to witnesses that are slowly starting to emerge at this hour. Uh, but the good news is that right now it looks like the only person who um, suffered anything really badly was really the, the driver of that BMW. But I'm told initially that uh, those severe wounds are now going to be okay. That person should be okay as well as the mother and the two children in the minivan.